The Lakers and Warriors was a very hyped up game to open the season and it did live up to expectations in some capacity as Steph Curry and LeBron went back and forth constantly scoring um, play after play. Um, Anthony Davis I believe finished with 38, LeBron had 36, Steph only had 21. Um, obviously the Warriors were able to eke by with a 7 point victory even with that um, not really a bad game but for Steph's terms a bad game. Um, but a few issues flared that so many people were worried about for the um, Los Angeles Lakers. And one of those biggest reasons is spacing on this team. Um, bringing in Russell Westbrook is still a questionable move for the Lakers as they um, know good and well Westbrook cannot shoot the three. He cannot spread the floor at all. Um, he's not even that great of a playmaker as he used to be. Um, slashing wise he struggled to um, keep it in his hands and not turn it over and with the spacing this team has right now Westbrook should not be on the court with a lot of these players a couple of those examples being DeAndre Jordan Rajon Rondo people like that who they know the Warriors defense knows they don't have to respect the three-point shot or the pick and fade simply because neither of these guys have a chance to make a three-point shot um, nobody's going to think DeAndre Jordan's going to shoot a three off of a pick and um, fade or pick and pop. Um, and despite Rajon Rondo shooting decent from three, nobody's respecting his game as they should. Um, and the final stat line for Russell Westbrook was eight points, four fouls, four turnovers. I believe he had two rebounds and maybe six assists, something like that. And obviously for your third best player, this is not acceptable at all. Um, you could get much better um, production out of a guy that's not getting nearly as much money as him. Um, maybe like um, once Talon Horton Tucker comes back in, he could provide statistics even better than that. Um, so that's going to be something interesting to watch as the season progresses simply because can Russell Westbrook change his game? That's been a question following him for years now. Um, since his last year in Oklahoma City without Kevin Durant, where he really struggled to be a team leader, going into Houston, going into um, Washington, people wondered if this would be the year that he changes his game. And so far, he has not been able to live up to the um, schemes that they've needed him to. Um, as always, as LeBron said, it's the first game of the year. You wouldn't really expect a veteran like him to get jitters as bad as he did. Um, but it's a new system. It's a new team. Maybe he just needs time to change his game and realize that, hey, I'm the third option here. I don't have nearly as much pressure on me, and I just need to play game, play basketball the way that I play basketball. Um, if he can kind of be able to move off the ball and get assist and limit his turnovers, then I say Russell Westbrook can help the Lakers make a finals run. But when he's making boneheaded plays, um, bad turnovers, bad fouls like he has been constantly at least in the preseason and in this game as a whole, then the Lakers really lost that deal for getting Russell Westbrook. And I don't see the experiment working out. And as I said, though, it is the first game of the season. Maybe he gets better, maybe not. We'll have to see how that works out for them. And if Westbrook can really um, lower his pride a little bit and make his way into a, a third role for the Lakers and now let's talk about the Warriors, who played solid, not great. Um, it's amazing to think that Anthony Davis and LeBron James combined for almost 90 points, and they lost the game, which is kind of a scary thought if you're a Lakers fan. If your two best players combined for that many points, you should be winning every single game, but they still lost by seven. And if Russell Westbrook had just scored a little bit more, they may have been able to win. Um, but that could be any game you put your um, think about the statistics for. But on the Warriors' side, one bright spot was Nemanja Bjelica, who um, showed out defensively, showed out offensively. He was great on the boards. Um, he had pretty good shooting splits, and as a whole, he um, he didn't play nearly as good or as bad as you would expect a guy of his caliber to play to. Bjelica was actually one of the better role players in this game to help the Warriors win. And without him, I don't think they win this game because of Steph Curry's lackluster play. Um, another guy that obviously kind of looked like he might be able to take a step forward this year is Andrew Wiggins, who um, offensively was just amazing for a while, the most part of this game. Um, defensively, he's always been all right. As you see, uh, Russell Westbrook, one of his good drives in this game, the few he had. 
Um, but like I was saying, Andrew Wiggins played good this game. Um, that's all they need out of these guys because Steph isn't going to struggle like he did in this game every game. And if they can have these guys all playing good, like Jordan Poole, if he can play good, if Andrew Wiggins can come together and play good, Nemanja Bielitsa can continue his role, um, then this team is going to be a scary sight this season to see. Um, but we'll have to see what the role players can do for that team. And with Klay Thompson coming back at some point during the season, if they will be able to in incorporate him into the offense effectively, um, I think they will. Klay Thompson is a very good player that can fit into pretty much any offense. Um, so we'll have to see how that turns out for him. Um, Lakers-Warriors was a very exciting game. Didn't live up to the hype as I wanted it to. Uh, we'll have to see for their next meeting what happens with that. And if this game, maybe it will be a little closer. Um, I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow on the game of the week for the opening week of NBA games. Um, every Saturday I plan to do a game of the week and just react to the highlights from that game. Um, so that's my plan for the videos going forward. Let me know what you guys think about that. Comment down below what game you guys think should be game of the week for this first slet slate of games. Uh, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and um, as always, follow my Instagram. Link's always in the description down below, and adios.